All right, let's make sure we're in games. Click third person and we'll name this lights. Create. Okay, so last time we had an object and we added a blueprint to it. So this time we're going to create the blueprint first. So go ahead and click on blueprint, new empty blueprint class. And we're gonna create an actor. So that is just an object. And we'll name this light show or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be saved in our blueprints file. So here it is. Okay, so in our components, we're gonna go ahead and add a cube. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a little platform. So add, type in cube. And we will use the scale tool and scale down the Z axis. Looks good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add lights. So add, type in light, and we're gonna use the point light, point light. Okay, so if I zoom out, you can see the light that's gonna be shown, but the light itself is actually in here. So we're gonna go ahead and move it. Oh, I'm in scale. Duh. There we go. So there's our light. Quite fantastic. And let's change the color of the light. So in our light, in the details, light select, and let's go blue. And then let's go and turn up the intensity so it's brighter. And it looks good. All right, so we have our cube, and then we have our point light is the child of the cube. And you can change its name if you want. It's up to you. But let's add another one. Add light, point light. And this one's called point light one. But check this out, it's in our point light. So it's a child of that. So let's go ahead and move that and drop it in the cube. So now they're separate. And then move this up and over and change the color. Brighten it up. All right, so now we have blue light, red light. And that looks pretty good. Next, we want to do is have them turn on and off. So let's first add a collider to our cube. Box collision. And we'll scale this nicely. We don't actually have to do it that nice. Just get it done. Okay, good enough. And now we're gonna open up our event graph. And last time we used the event actor begin overlap so that when it, when the player touched the um, ramp, it played a message on the um, print script. So this time, what we're gonna do is use the event begin play, meaning it plays right at the start of our project. So what we wanna do is add a node from this one. And again, this is our executable box or home play, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna drag this out and then I'm going to add set visibility. So I'm gonna type in visibility And I wanna set the visibility to my point light. And remember I have two of them, so make sure you set it on the right one. 
So there is our visibility. Let's go ahead and move this up so it's easier to see. Okay, so what we have here, at the start of our play button, the start of our game, the point light visibility right now is off, right? So if I click it, now it's true. So now when we press play, the point light visibility is on. And then we're going to want it to turn off. So let's go ahead and drag this new node. And on these nodes, left side, that's the input. This is the output. Input, output. So let's go ahead and add a little delay. So we're going to pull this out, let it go, type in delay. And I want to change this from 2.2 2 seconds to 1 second. This point two is kind of quick. All right. So now, when we hit play, our point light turns on for one second. And then we want it to turn off. So what we're going to do is add another one of these set visibilities. And instead of setting it to true, we're going to set it to false. And again, make sure you've, you're using the same light that you used before. So we've got our point light visibility off. And then I'm going to add another delay. Let me just scoot these in a little bit more. So I'm going to add a delay. And I'm going to change this to one second. So now it's off. And what I want to do now, so here's my code basically. At the start of the play, my point light is turned on for one second. Then it turns off for one second. And right now it ends. So what we want is for it to loop. So it goes continuously. So to do that, I just grab this executable node and I bring it over here and drop it in the set visibility. And this line's hard to see. So what we can do is click here, double twice, and then I can just move that up so you can see it. So again, start. Light on, light off, it goes around and happens again. So let's check it out and see what's happening. Oh, okay, so we have this compile button with that question mark. That means it's not compiled. We have to compile it. But it also will compile when you press play, but let's just do it so, it's, so we get in the habit of it. Compile, it's good. Press play. And nothing's happening. All that work for nothing. Not really. Okay, so stop the animation. We forgot to put in the actual blueprint we just made. So there it is, light show. I'm gonna drop it in. Set it down. Now let's play it. And we have it working right. It flashes once, on, off, on, off. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and make both of them flash. <laughs> 